Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. In this video I filmed everything that I got up to on Thursday evening after my toddler George had gone to sleep. As a lot of you guys know, I am a solo parent during the week because my partner works away. So once George goes to bed does not mean I have time to relax. I've got plenty of things to crack on with, whether that's tidying, editing YouTube videos, doing the washing up, etc, etc. But actually this evening I also had some cakes to make, although I only made the batter because this was actually filmed a couple of days before George's second birthday party and I just wanted to get a head start because I knew there was so much to do and actually my next video is going to be me decorating and getting ready for that party. So I hope you enjoy that kind of thing and if you do, don't forget to subscribe and if you want to see more stuff like this like after dark stuff then please do let me know but for now here is everything that I've got up to after my toddler went to bed as a solo parent during the week so once I put George down to sleep I actually just cleaned the bathroom really quickly and I'm just going to put this really wet towel over the banister to dry I don't know about you guys but I've always just done that is that weird or is that something that you do as well I then just went downstairs and made sure that all the dirty clothes in his nursery bag were taken out had his nursery clothes ready for tomorrow and made sure that he had enough spares in his bag and everything. That's just something I like to do like straight away after he goes down to bed so that I don't forget in the morning and I'm not taking him in with like dirty clothes in his bag or anything like that. So he's definitely got enough clothes in here which is good. Then I just had a general tidy of the hallway, just picking up shoes basically and popping those into the shoe cupboard, which I always forget to do. Um, we just have a box here as well in the hallway at the moment. It's just full of things that I want to take to the charity shop, mainly some of George's old stuff. And then I'm just going to go and see the living room, which is actually not too bad this evening. Sometimes it can get really bad after nursery. Um, and I, if I don't tidy it before we go up to bed, it's yeah sometimes a bit of a killer to come down to. But tonight was not too bad at all. We just have a few toys out, some of his new toys that my mum got him for his birthday. So yeah, just popping all of those away in this IKEA hamster unit. I absolutely love this for toy storage. Um, and then I'm also opening one of George's birthday cards and he now has three of the same card. Everyone knows him so, so well. Paw Patrol obsessed. I found that so cute. I honestly can't believe I have a two year old. I can't believe the last two years has flown by. I can't wait to share all of his party bits and all the bits he got for his birthday. But actually this was one of the bits that I got him some wellies from Etsy they're so adorable aren't they I actually accidentally ordered two pairs so I'm gonna have to send one of them back but yeah I'm just gonna crack on and tidy up the rest of the living room sort of diner area and then I'll catch up with you guys in the kitchen what if the world had more of your smile what if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. So after I had like a general tidy up, I put away all of the leftovers from my HelloFresh that I made, I decided that I was going to make George's cupcake batter for his cupcakes for his birthday party. These are apparently what they're going to turn out like, but we'll see. I've made these cupcakes before and they were really, really tasty. So I'm just going to do them again. The recipe itself is fairly straightforward. The like 
method is slightly convoluted in that you have to like mix it in one bowl and then pour it into another bowl and then mix half of it into another bowl but if it turns out the way it turned out last time I'm very very happy with that so my plan is just to make these like fairy cakes basically really really straightforward and then decorate them with some green icing on top I'm gonna make some like butter icing homemade um, so fingers crossed that works out pretty well I've also got some chocolate sprinkles so definitely stay tuned for the next video where I make these properly and ice them and everything so you can see what they turn out like but for now I'm just prepping and like I said just getting ahead of the full-on party preparations ahead of George's birthday party I'm so excited but hopefully this year it won't be as chaotic as last year because Ash is home and he's actually going to be here for George's birthday which is super super helpful when it comes to getting everything sorted for having people over and hosting and stuff so yeah I'm just going to crack on with this and I'll catch up with you when we move on to the next thing. Once I got the house into a decent state, I went and did my skincare, which is something that I do every single evening. You guys know that I have a super straightforward skincare routine that helped me get rid of my acne, and I'm just gonna show you that now. I first go in with the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser, which is such a good cleanser. It's so, so good, it gets everything off. And sometimes if I'm wearing makeup, I do a double cleanse, but normally I just do a like one cleanse and it's just so nice it doesn't dry my skin out but it also doesn't make my skin oily it's just perfect for me next I go in with my skin and me which is a personalized formula for me I do work with skin and me on brand collaborations but this isn't part of that I just use it every single day so I thought I would share it with you it's so good it helps me combat my acne and also maintain that and then once I've done that it needs like 10 minutes to sink in so I generally go and brush my teeth and then once that's done I go in with some moisturizer this is the Neutrogena gel cream that I use and again it's really nice for me it doesn't make me feel oily or greasy but it does hydrate my skin which is perfect I do generally find that a lot of high street skincare is actually more affordable on Amazon so I'll link a few of these down below I'm also just doing some hand cream because my hands are super dry at the moment this is the Locatane dry hands hand cream and I absolutely rate it and then yeah I'm just putting my rings back on and I think I'm gonna go 
to bed. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Please don't forget that if you're looking for some party prep inspiration then that is going to be the next video up on my channel because my little boy George turned two on Friday and we had a little party for him on Saturday so definitely stay tuned for that and let me know what you want to see more of in the comments and I'll make sure to start creating that content for you. But for now I think I'm going to love you and leave you and I will see you very very soon in the next one. Thanks guys, bye! Good night.